Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install PyCharm on your Windows 8 or 8.1 operating system and develop or write your first Hello World Python program in PyCharm. So first of all, you need to have Python installed in your system in order to run or uh, create your Python program in PyCharm. So first of all, uh, we will uh, install Python and then we are going to install PyCharm and uh, run our first Hello World Python program in PyCharm. So search for Python on your uh, favorite browser and uh, the first link will be from python.org. Just click this link and click this download tab here. And in here, you can see two versions. One is Python 3.4.3, .3, which is the latest version. And the Python 2.7.9, which is a legacy version, which um, most of the old, uh, you know, Python uh, programs are uh, written in these this version. But right now, we are interested in uh, downloading this one, 3.4.3. .3. So just click uh, download and save okay once this uh, python file or executable file is uh, downloaded you can install python on your uh, system by just running it so what i'm going to do is this is the executable file i have installed for python 3.4.3 .3. so i'm going to run it once uh, this is complete this download is complete and I'm going to click next. And this is the leaf default location where Python will be installed. C slash colon Python 3.4, which is uh, for the version 3.4. Click next. Next. And in some moment, Python will be installed in your system. So by the meantime, uh, it's uh, installing, we can download a PyCharm executable. So search for PyCharm and the first link will be from jetbrains.com slash PyCharm. PyCharm is the IDE by JetBrains. So we are going to jetbrains.com slash PyCharm and in here just click get PyCharm now. And in here you will be able to see two versions, professional version which is free for 30 day trial and the community version which is free so right now we want to just learn how this pycharm works so i'm going to download this community version we don't want to develop any professional uh, programs using this so i'm going to choose this version which is free to use so click this and save your pycharm file okay by the meantime our Python 3.4.3 .3 setup has been completed. So uh, Python has been installed in our system. Click finish. And you can see Python uh, in your C folder. And there will be a folder called Python 3.4. And in here all your Python files are there. Okay. So Python is successfully installed in our system. Now just click the executable file for PyCharm which you have installed. So this is the PyCharm community version. 4.0 uh, so just click this executable which you have downloaded for pycharm and the setup for pycharm will start in few seconds click yes and click next and this is the default location where uh, pycharm community edition 4.0.5 will be installed it's in uh, c program files x86 slash jetbrain slash pycharm okay click next if you want to create a desktop icon you can check this and i'm going not going to check this other option click next install and i can see this uh, jetbrains pycharm icon here now the installation is going on So now PyCharm has been installed in our system. Uh, for running it for the first time, just click this uh, Run PyCharm Community Edition when we click Finish. So it will be automatically launched. So I will click 
finish and PyCharm will start. And for the first time, you can see, uh, you can set your, uh, you know, IDE uh, look and feel by, uh, you know, choosing one of uh, these options. Dark color is for dark theme. Default is the default theme from uh, IntelliJ, which is from uh, JetBrains. And so if you can choose uh, what, uh, you know, what the, uh, IDE theme and editor color and font you want. Okay, so I'm going to leave everything as default for now and I will click OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. So create and you can see uh, PyCharm automatically detects the Python folder which is in C colon slash Python 34 slash python.exe this is automatically recognized by pycharm for you but if uh, it it's not automatically recognized you can you know browse for the folder uh, for pycharm right now this is the default location where pycharm will be you know will create its uh, project you can uh, give the name to your folder here for example test and I'm going to just click create. And now PyCharm has created us this project. Okay, so you can see this test project. Uh, it's going to give you a tip of the day. I'm going to close this. And right now in our, my test folder, there is nothing because we haven't created any python file right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click it and i'm going to create a new python file okay and in here you can give the name for your python file for example my python dot py py is the extension for python files and click ok and it's going to create you this uh, mypython.py file for you. Okay. Now to create our first program here, what we are going to do is we are going to write our hello world or we are going to print hello world here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, this line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to print uh hello world here so i'm going to write print and in the brackets i'm going to write in double quotes hello world hello world and for the first time when you want to run this program what you need to do is you need to right click and run my python which is your file name okay so right click and run my python file and you will be able to see this hello world printed on your screen okay from the next time what you can do is you can click this uh, green button here once you you have already run your uh, hello world program for the first time for example hello world and you can add something here youtube for example and uh, you can click this green button and it will print hello world youtube here okay so in this way, you can download and install PyCharm and write your Python program in PyCharm. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.